Hi guys, welcome to today's early devotional. The theme for today is the cure for shame. The cure for shame. The memory verse is taken from the book of Psalms 119 verses 6. Psalms 119 verses 6 which says, Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. Let me repeat that. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. Let's go to the memory verse, which is taken from the book of Psalms 119, 1 to 8, which says, Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. I will praise thee with uprightness of heart when I shall have learned thy, righteousness, thy righteous judgments. I will keep thy statutes, or forsake me not utterly. Let's go to the message. Genesis 3.10 says that after the devil had deceived Adam and Eve, they suffered from shame. They were ashamed because the glory of the Lord had departed from them. Thus, we see that it was disobedience that brought about shame upon the first couple. God had earlier warned them against eating the forbidden fruit, but they eventually did. Disobedience to God's word brings untold shame and agony. To avoid or remove shame, we must return to the word, to the world of God and live according to its dictates. I missed the word here, sorry. As we see in today's memory verse, our scripture reading says, those who walk in the law of the Lord are blessed because they are undefiled. It goes further to establish that the blessedness of the keepers of testimonies of the Lord and those who seek him with their whole heart. Why are they blessed? They are blessed because those iniquities that bring that bring about shame are kept away from them through their obedience. It is, sad, it is sad that today when pastors teach on obedience, some people shun it because according to them, we are in the grace dispensation and not that of law. These people forget that we cannot be in sin and expect grace to abound, which is in Romans 6, 1 to 2. Psalms 119 also says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word? Thy word have, have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. Proverbs 3.35 says, The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of idols. Sorry, of fools. The word fools here refers to people who act as though there is no God. When a fellow behaves as if his or her wickedness shall not be brought to book, the person is indirectly saying that there is no God anywhere to judge him. When a person travels far away from a familiar environment just to commit sin, he or she is acting like there is no God because otherwise such a fellow would know that God is everywhere. Shame is the portion of such people. You will not be put to shame in Jesus' name. Amen. If this prayer would be answered, you must repent and live in complete obedience to the word of God. Finally, we have a prayer point which says, Father, please help me to keep holding fast to the word of salvation and to live thereby to the end in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray with me. Father, please help me to hold fast to the word of, of salvation and live thereby to the end. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his word. In Jesus' name, amen.